Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you what is the difference between the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge. So first and foremost, the Galaxy S6 Edge has every feature that the Galaxy S6 has. But people want to know, well then why should I buy the S6 Edge? Well, as I've said many times over, people buy the Edge for the look, first and foremost. So these features might not get your attention if the look doesn't get your attention by itself. However, these are the features that do make it different. First and foremost, in my experience, uh, I've had it for over a week on the S6 Edge and I've had the S6 for over a month. The S6 Edge does have a longer battery life. A lot of people are wondering this because of 50 more milliamps and yeah, I would say it adds about half an hour to an hour longer on average. In my day-to-day -day usage, I would say it's an hour longer than my typical S6 did. However, um, you have to give it leeway depending on how you use it. So I would say it's from an hour to half an hour longer in terms of battery life. That's first and foremost. Second thing is going to be people edge. Now, many of these differences you can find just by going into the settings and then edge screen. So first and foremost, you have edge lighting along with people edge. Now what this does is that when I swipe from the side on my home screen right here, if you can see that little icon, you can make it on the left side or the right side, but only one side can be active. You can immediately call text message uh, your favorite contact. So it's very nice and simple. And I can just tap this one right here and I can immediately call text message or email this person. Now, when I do this, and it's on a flat surface. So we're going to put this on a flat surface and I'm gonna call this number. You get what's called people lighting. So what people lighting does is actually something kind of nice. And that is that I will be able to see who is calling while this phone is face down. So you see that green, well, no, it's not getting that it's on a flat surface. There it goes. So there we go. It's seeing it's on a flat surface. I can see it's green. And then I can tap the heart rate sensor and that will send a quick text message letting the person know that I cannot be reached. And now that person got a text message. So that is going to be the second feature. And when I see this, I can actually just pull this out from the side and immediately call back, text message, or email that person because I saw I got a missed call from them. The next feature comes from night. So at night, you will have this very dim lit clock and you probably can't see it, but it is lit right now. And there you can see it better. And that is night clock. So this turns on at a certain time, so you can always see what time and, uh, and all your notifications coming in. You can also swipe up and see your favorite team scores. So you can see their scores right there and they'll transfer over to the next one. So you can see all the scores going on. You can also do animations, which that's a Knight Rider one, it reset it, and then you can see your notifications. You can also see more of these too. And this comes from the information stream. So when I go to edge screen, I can go to the information stream and then choose which ones I want. These are some of the ones Samsung has available right now. You have Animator, which is a one I found on Google Play Store that is a paid for one. You have notifications, you have your scores, you have Twitter feeds, stocks, and news. And you can download a few more, but it's not too much out there. And that's it, guys. Those are all of the features with the Galaxy S6 Edge versus the Galaxy S6. So those are going to be all of the main differences between these two devices. Nothing more, nothing less. So then you need to decide if that's worth the price difference. Choose that on your own. For me, I did like the edge more. I like the style of it. And again, that's why I bought it. I use the night clock feature every day. I sometimes use the edge people to call. I definitely use it for the quick reply feature. So those are all the features that I use it for. 
Is it worth it to you? Well, that's something you're going to have to decide. For all the latest videos on the S6 and S6 Edge, make sure to look at the Android Guy on YouTube. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.